Hello boys. Ah, cheers. We've got DJ Sancho on <laughs> and Lachlan <laughs> Avis the Avenator, the Flavor Flavinator. <laughs> and you already know who this is, it's your boy Peach. We're heading down to the pillars at Mount Martha on the Mornington Peninsula. And I actually don't know what we're going to do yet, but we're going to make some pictures and hang out and have just a generally great time. So I would love it if you would join us. That's right. I think this is a good place to finish, not start, because I think once the sun gets lower, this will be really, really pretty. Right. Carry on. We're going to a top secret location. Don't tell anyone. Whenever I see stuff like this, like honestly, to me, it's like it's like seeing a crazy scene in a video game. I think it might be down here, lot. No, I can't remember. How beautiful is this? We are on the, we're about 45 minutes from Melbourne and the water is just stunning. It's so flat. Hello, photo boy. And stay there for a sec. Yes, boy. Shooting on the Canon 5D Mark III, I've got the Sigma 35mm 1.4 art lens, and it's lovely for these sort of nice um, depth of field shots while the sun is still a little bit brighter. I think I'm going to change now to the 17 to 40. I'm going to try and get the last light on these cliffs behind me. I'm going to set up a little bit of a flash, set up one of the boys in the front and underexpose the ambient a little bit and then pop a little bit of flash in the front to balance the exposure basically. So I've currently got the circular polarizer on there. I'm not sure if it's doing more good than harm. At the moment it's killing about a stop of light. So the background, sorry, the foreground is very dark. I might take it off when I put the flash on because I'm afraid that it'll um, just be a bit funny with the colors, but we'll see how it goes. I've never used it before for this sort of thing um, and I'm keen to test it out today. So I'm gonna set up one of the boys in the shot, frame it up so when time comes because when the sun goes down there'll only be a few minutes to shoot so when the time comes we'll be go 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 and we'll make sure to not miss that shot so because there's a little bit of a breeze i'm not going to use the umbrella oh well maybe i will but i've got a little soft box that i can pop up as well and it's not going to catch the wind as much i'm going to set up the 5d on a tripod and basically shoot it with the light stand in shoot a test without and then one with the light stand in it so that way I can get the exact composition I want and then mask out the light stand afterwards in Photoshop. All right, time is running out rapidly. Race against the It is a little bit. I'm gonna risk it with the umbrella and I'll get one of the other boys to hold the stand. Great thinking, Sean. I've got the Yongnuo 564, that's gonna be the key light. And Yongnuo 560TX controller on top.
to get the rig out, Lucky. Okay, so one thing that I didn't think of until just now is that the the orange light coming off the sunset is not going to match the, the very cold light coming from the flash. So I'm going to get an orange gel, stick it over the flash and try and match the uh, flash to the ambient a little bit. It's a half CTO gel or a quarter, I'm not sure. This is the riskiest part because the umbrella is basically a sail. So we're lucky to have Drew here holding the stand for me. I didn't know that he was going to be my assistant slash photography sleigh for today, but here we are. Hi, Lucky. No, you're short. Ah. <laughs> Be so nervous it's just gonna like plummet. I'm taking this off, I, I don't wanna risk it. Hey, I found that video of you driving by. Oh, I can camera down. I'm sorry, I've scrapped the tripod. I was going to make it like a travel lifestyle photo, but instead I think it's going to be better to just do environmental portraits. The light is really beautiful and I don't want to waste any more time, so I'm going to keep shooting. Ah, a bit dark. <laughs> Cool, and straight on to me, look straight at me, Drew, that's it. Cheesy ass smile, tears. Stable. Right. Got my head screwed on. Come on, look over your shoulder for me, Drew, at me. That's it. Two, one. Two, one. I think I found my like calling boys. Just like hold your hands, just like bring them and play with them a little bit. Yeah, look where? Look at me. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. And now straight over there for you. Beautiful. All right, can we do a rotation? Yeah, sure. Can I get you to swap with you, yep. Sean? Uh, Yep. Man, my bum is getting so dirty. Oh, you gotta wait for the comments to come up for this on my space. You're gonna break my space. <laughs> Come on, sit a little bit straighter up if you can. That's it. Perfect. That's Perfect. a mark. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Now look back at me, Sean. Perfect. That's cash. Yeah. That's yeah. cash money, baby.
just trying out some different exposures, eight to 10 seconds, trying to find that sweet spot. Unfortunately, there's not too much color in the sky over this side, um, but I'm about to try some over this side because it's now getting dark enough that the exposure is pretty balanced. It's actually just what I was thinking myself. True, true. <laughs> what are you boys feeling for feet? <laughs> Does anyone want to jump down there and get in one of these? Fucking oh. If it pulls off, it'll be epic. Yeah, fuck yeah. You just have to climb down. Yeah? Yeah. Fucking oh, I will. Which one's the best way down there? Probably this way. Uh, come down. Um, so if you want to follow cool. Sean down and then just wait um, until he's done a couple. So I have no idea what this is going to look like on the computer, but it looks okay on the back of the screen. What I'm trying to do, if you can even see, I'm going to try and get one of the boys to sit here and sit still enough for an eight second exposure to work. I've never, never done it before. I don't, don't know how people do these photos to be honest, or if they blend a couple of different frames, but if it works, I think it'll be really cool. Um, do you remember where it was, Drew? Yeah. Close as you can safely get. It's currently 8.28, which means the sun set about 20 minutes ago, because it's daylight savings here in Melbourne. We're losing light quickly, um, but for this sort of long exposure, it's perfect. And I'm going to see if I can get the boys to sit and stand still long enough to make it work. Uh, you can actually stand there if you want, um, but you guys have to stand as still as you can for eight seconds. Are you ready? Now we wait. Yeah, nice. I'll do another one. So they're a little bit small in the frame. I'm going to see if I can zoom it in and just frame it up a little better. You won't be able to tell who they are, but at least they can say that it's them in the photo. So what I'm doing is I'm just grabbing a focus and then I'm recomposing and changing it to manual mode as well. So it doesn't refocus. All right, boys, ready? Yeah, nice. One more, one more. Okay, so now I'm zooming in even further. Who knows if this is gonna work. I'm also using this little remote just to eliminate any handshake. All good, fellas, thank you. It didn't quite come off how I'd planned, but we'll see. I might edit really nicely or make a nice black and white or something, and there'll be little silhouettes in it. And that concludes our day at the Pillars. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you learned something, give me a big fat thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. I'm gonna say traditional Australian, as in like <laughs> the, the, you know, roast chicken and veg, spaghetti bolognese. Yeah. Mum does zucchini slice, which is good. Um, what else we got?